Good morning. I'm Delaney with the Chicago Chamber of Commerce, and I'm here with Mr. James Strickland. We are at 150 Boat Sales. 150 Boat Sales is located on help me with that state you follow. That's Lake You Follow Road or Highway 150. I knew I was going to mess that up. <laughs> <laughs> I have a lot of things that jumble up in here. Okay, so basically, from Chicago, I got on I 40. I drove down to. You follow what? Just I forty two. Okay. I I Lake say, Eufaula State. I always say road. exit two five nine, which is Lake Eufaula Road or Highway one fifty. For those of us who've been here for Fountainhead Road, <laughs> that's that's what my Fountain problem Head is. Road. Uh -huh. <laughs> that is exactly what my problem is. I'm like, no, it was Fountainhead Road the whole time I was going. It's still Fountainhead Road. It's still Fountainhead Road to a lot of people. <laughs> that's called being hard headed. Yeah, and not wanting to change things. <laughs> Been oh, a long time. <laughs> <laughs> So one of the cool things I've learned this morning was that this business is a female owned and operated business. And I'm all about some girl power. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> uh, so I find that awesome. And I am so excited to know that. And so the other, I should, I should okay, so Jane Strickland is an owner, as well as Susie Engelbretson. Very good. Yes. yes. And so now that you know that, you can be impressed like I am. Well, good morning, everyone. Thank you for coming out today, too. I'm so I'm so happy you're here. Thank you. We would love to share it with everybody. Most people know we're here, but there are a lot of people that have lived around here for years that didn't even know we existed. So wonderful. Well, well, spread the word. You you guys have shown me a beautiful boat this morning, mm -hmm. and I love looking at the boat. And um, the furniture is nice to be furniture. <laughs> Oh my goodness, I know, they are so beautiful, they really are beautiful, and yes. the good thing is that we don't sell at top retail, so That's a everybody thing. walks out with a good deal, I have a lot of people that say, you know, it's like a car, I'm going to take it off the lot, and I'm upside down, not here, you don't, my parents never did it that way, and we don't do it that way, so. Speaking of your parents, tell me a little bit about how many years you've been in business, mm -hmm. and, and how the business got started. Okay, well, we've been here for 24 years. Uh, my parents actually started this in their retirement. Uh, they bought the house next door. They came, uh, they retired, they came here, they fished for a couple of weeks. My dad always had his wheels turning. Like he was always thinking, you know, there has to be more to life than this. And so they got this idea that they would find a used pontoon boat and uh, fix it up, have a mechanic look at it, clean it and sell it. If they broke even, they were fine. If they made a little money, that was great. It was just something to do. And they kind of ran out of um, a used inventory to buy. They couldn't find any to buy, and they got approached by Voyager to sell new Voyager pontoons and tritoons. And they were the number one dealership for over 10 years nationwide. That is awesome. Impressive, isn't it? That is very impressive. So we, uh, we unfortunately don't sell Voyager anymore. We wanted to stick with everything the way my dad did it. And uh, the guy he dealt with, with that Voyager got sick and sold out to the other partner almost the exact same time my dad passed away. And after that, the quality went down the tubes. Uh, we had to start refusing inventory and we had to make a very painful decision to go to another brand. And so from there, we went to Playcraft, which they make a really nice boat. They have a patented stern step in the back. It's like walking up steps out of the boat. Loved Playcraft. Loved that company. But they took out a lot of dealers. And, it, and the uh, timeline to get a boat in was like 20 weeks or more. Mm -hmm. And in this business, you can't work on a timeline like that. No. So we went on a search. Uh, we, Susie and I flew out to Indiana. We went to Cypress K and went to their plant. They make a beautiful boat. Very pricey. Uh, we had already been selling the Express aluminum boats. Uh, Express is based out of Hot Springs, and they've been around for over 50 years. And so we had already been selling their boats, and they said, just come by and look at our pontoons and tritons. Just look. So we did, and we fell in love. Uh, these boats carry a patented interlocking aluminum deck. Uh, you won't, uh, right now, um, Veranda is their line from Express. They're the only new manufacturer that manufactures with an aluminum deck. Everybody else does wood, but they'll put the aluminum drag shield to protect the system. But this is the only place you'll find a, an aluminum deck. It's patented interlocking. Um, expert, they only know aluminum. They make aluminum boats. They make aluminum decks. This company knows aluminum, 
and they're very good at it, and they make a very well-built boat. And it was still in the price range where it wasn't top of the line. Uh, it wasn't low end, it was just kind of middle of the line, so we could still be affordable with our pricing. I mean, we're not a budget boat by any means, right? but we're not top of the line. We're still several thousand below our competitors that are top of the line. So uh, it's it's a beautiful boat. It really is. And we saw a lot of them. And once you see a Miranda, it's hard to look at anything else. I'm going to take I personally am not a boat person. Mm -hmm. And that's okay. Because mm -hmm. it takes all kinds to make this world go round. Right. But that boat, my first thought was, man, I wish my husband was here with <laughs> me. Yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah. And I'd be right up here. Well, they they call themselves Miranda luxury pontoons, and they very are they very much are luxurious. Even the fish models are very nice and comfortable, and they all have that nice vinyl flooring on it, which is easy to keep clean. And so, yeah, and the the you know even the lower end lines you can't call them low end. So right, it's just beautiful. Yes, yeah. Mm -hmm. And we still do it just like our parents did, though we don't sell top of them the, the high end of the retail. All of our boats are very. Uh, affordably priced. Uh, we do offer financing as well, but we don't sell at the top end. So when you drive off the lot, you're not upside down. We have a lot of people that will come back two and three years later and say, I just want to check the value of my boat. And it still is at what they paid for it, if not more. So. And that's awesome because that, that is a big deal. And that, that is something that, that hurts. You know, it, it stings a little bit. And when you know that there's the possibility of some opportunities, possibility that well, that could happen, mm -hmm. it, it will pull you back and, oh man, I just don't, I don't want to do that and then be upside down. Exactly. Right? It's like, you know, when you go buy a car and you drive off the lot and you're upside down 10 grand. Yes. And it, Immediately. Yeah. And it hurts. It does hurt, you know, because everybody works hard for their money. They and do. And that's not quite fair. Mm -hmm. And it shouldn't work like that. And some people don't even realize that it does work like right. that. And that's, that's when you're really like kicked in the gut is when you have no idea that that's that's right, and boating should be fun. Yes, it should be easy and fun, and it shouldn't be stressful. And you know, I, 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 I owe more on my boat than it's worth. That it shouldn't be that situation. Yeah, I agree with that. I see that a lot. So thank you for, for being good to people. Well, it's not everyone is. It's it's how my parents did it. We just kept it going the same way. That's you know, they they when they passed away, they left this to my sister and I because they knew that we would carry it on the way they did it, and that's what we're doing. That's a, that's a big thing. It's it not, is. Not, it not, is. Not every kid will do that. Well, you know, we love our parents and we respect their choices. So. Right. And they made a great business here. They did. The ladies have made a wonderful business here. Well, we we kept, kept it going, I guess. Mm -hmm. What I should say? No. Yeah, we've worked, we've worked very hard to keep it going and, and thriving and growing. So, well done. Thanks. Thanks. So we've talked a little bit about the happy boat. So are pontoon boats the only boats that you sell? We carry pontoons and tritoons. And then uh, this year we're, we, we've kind of carried the express, but there's so many uh, models and varieties of the express. It's hard to stop them because you don't really know exactly what someone's looking for. But this year we've made a decision to stock a few express boats. Okay. Break that yeah. down, express boats. Are those, are those what I would call the other boat other than pontoon? Well, they're aluminum fish boats. Oh, aluminum fish boats. Okay. Yeah, so there's all kinds of fish boats. They're, you know, they still make some fiberglass fish boats. But there's our aluminum. They're all welded, all aluminum fish boat. Okay. And they make that. They make a bass boat version. They make one for crappie, one for catfish. Uh, they have one for duck hunting. Uh, they have this, the, the general utility John boats. Um, so they make a wide variety. They have bay boats also, which are the center console okay. fish boats. So they have a huge variety of boats. So we've made a decision to uh, stock a few of those boats this year. So we'll be getting some of those in as well. Okay. When you do call me, I want to come out and check one out. Yeah, yeah. yeah I'd love to. Because these are, well, I want to see more. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, they really are beautiful. So what should someone who is looking to buy a boat know? Well, it depends on what you want to do on it. You know, if you want to fish on it or cruise on it or do a little of both. Um, um, are, are you one that wants speed? Or that was speed? one of my questions. Yeah. Can I tube behind this? You could. Okay. Mm -hmm. If you want a speed or tube or weight or ski behind it, then that determines the size of the boat and your horsepower that you get. Um, if you just want to putter around and fish or just putter around, 
You know, we have customers that just like to put around their wine. Okay. Yeah, of course. They go too. Yeah. But it, it determines on what So we kind of break that down when you come in. What are you wanting to do on How many people are you wanting to, to uh, be able to carry on this boat? Because that determines the size you get as well. Right. And then we kind of just show them what we've got in that area. Um, and then in used boats, we carry all kinds because we get trade-ins, we get consignments. You use boats also. A lot of people in this day and time do not like to sell their boats on Craigslist because you never know who's showing up. And it's not safe for a lot of people. And you get a lot of questions that, you know, they don't know how to answer. And so we sell on consignment uh, to help people so they don't have to deal with that. They right. bring the boat in. And we keep it clean, we show it, we list it, we facilitate the, the sale, do all the notarizing, notarizing of the, uh, the titles, we offer financing, so we do the whole thing and, um, you know, if we get an offer, of course, we still their boat till it salts, we always call them with the offer and they get the chance to counter offer accept, but once the sale is done, we just mail them their money. Well, that's and simple for, enough. Yeah. You know, we just try to make it easy for them because, like I said, on Craigslist, you just don't know what's going to yes. show up. And so it's not safe for a lot of people. Agreed. Mm -hmm. Yes. And, and that's wonderful that you offer that service. Yeah. So we, and so we get used boats of all kinds. Good. That's good to know, too, because some people, even though your prices are amazing and they're not going to be upside down, some people still want a used boat. Right. Right. Because they've either just got a lake house, they want to make sure they're going to like it before they even... Yeah, I mean, it's like right. it, invest, and a lot of people will get a used boat, and then next year they'll come and trade it for a new boat. Yeah, it's like the first car you get when you're 16. Right. You know, there's a good chance you're gonna get something. <laughs> you got scratch it or, or practice and to right. to back down the the ramp. You right. Know? Right. Exactly. It can be a little rough for some so, of us. Right. Well, yeah. <laughs> Trust me, you That's do not point. want me back. <laughs> Well, that's, that's what we have employees for. <laughs> I love that. Yes, yes, yes. I would need those. Cause <laughs> well, you know, I had a guy tell me at a dealer meeting one time, and this was right after I first came here to help my parents. He said, I can't believe that a satellite, or satellite, we were in the satellite business before. I can't believe a boat dealer doesn't know how to drive a boat. And I said, well, I guess you don't need to know how to drive it to sell it. Exactly. You so, don't know. But I said, have driven boats but I was very new here with my parents after my dad passed away and I hadn't driven a boat before and so now I know that exactly you don't need to know how to drive one to sell them see see you don't have to know how to drive one you can learn that's the fun part about being human that's right there's always something that you can learn <laughs> exactly you know and I tell you that, you know Susie and I would have never thought at this point in my life we would be learning another um, craft or industry because we were in the satellite TV business for over 31 years um, before we came down here to help my mom. And we came down here, we knew we'd been a boat most of our life, but just to know this industry, we didn't. But, you know, our dad taught us business our entire lives. You know, he was always in some kind of a business because he always had his wheels turned. So he taught us business our entire lives, and he taught us, he taught us good customer service. That's that's very important. And he taught us that from a very young age. That's why I try to be very gentle with people when I go places and the customer service isn't so terrible. I was so great. So, you know, it, and unfortunately, customer service is not as sought after as it used to be. But we were taught that, and that's all we know. Right. Our dad taught us that, and that's what keeps our customers coming back. That's what keeps them uh, sending referrals over to us. And with our repeat business and with our referrals, it keeps our advertising costs down so we can keep these low prices like this. Yeah. So one of the things I was going to ask you when I first got here, and I, I didn't at that time, so I'll just ask you now. Okay. Um, do y'all do boat shows? We don't do a boat show. Let me tell you why. My dad never did that. I think since we've been here, we did one boat show, and it was in Oklahoma City. Uh, and it, two years later, we saw one boat from that show. And here's the deal. It's super expensive to rent a space at a boat show. Then you have to transport your boats over there and set them up. And you're there sometimes two, three days. The one in Tulsa is about a week. And so you're there for a week. I'm the only salesperson here. We don't have commissioned salespeople. It's just me. So then I would have to hire a staff of people. And then I have to raise my prices. I and... 
then, you know, I mean, I can't, I can't offer these good deals and go to the boat show and pay the, the, all that money. Right. And it's a lot. So we did something fun in January, and we usually do it about the, uh, we usually do it around the time of the Tulsa Boat Show, but we do, uh, in January, we uh, have an open house here. And so we bring in, um, uh, a, this last year, we brought in a food truck, uh, Boston Hogs out of Baltimore, yes. and they set up and they serve free barbecue sandwiches and chips, and then we have all kinds of beverages and sodas. We give away door prizes. We have uh, Blake 102.5 FM come and do a live remote, and um, we gave away Jimmy Buffett tickets this year. But we make it no hassle, browsing fun. Yeah. They can come out here and look yes. and climb on every road and eat yeah. some lunch yes. and win some prizes. And almost everybody that came out and said, this was fun. And it should be fun. We don't charge to get in. Mean, you don't charge to get in. We don't charge to get in. And we just really okay. make it a lot of fun. And we give people and we give away prizes. And it's how my parents did it and how we did it. So it, it is. It really is fun. And we saw a lot during our open house. So. Yeah, because people like to get the experience of what so like an animal on their own. Their own you, know, you want to know someone that in their own environment and it makes you feel comfortable and then you want to buy right, right, right. You know, like I said, we try to make it pleasurable. And, and used to, we would go and get the food and prep it and bring it in, and then we would strong our, our relative to come in and serve it. Right. And we found out that the food truck was way easier, cheaper, and it was a lot more fun. So, oh, yeah, yeah. And you could do that. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. We, yeah. we really. We really enjoyed having them there, and we will definitely do that again. No, so, no, 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 I look forward to it. We're just looking right now. Oh, so, you. you had mentioned something about Honda a little bit earlier. Mm -hmm. So, Honda was the very first four-stroke outboard engine. They've only ever made a four-stroke. Um, they, uh, my parents sold uh, a different brand before Honda came out. When Honda came out, they sold Honda, and they only ever sold Honda. We sell a lot of Hondas. In fact, this last year, Honda started a premier dealer program where they picked 32 dealers nationwide to um, be a Honda premier dealer. And we are fortunate to be one of those 32. And we're actually the only one in the central part of the United States that, that is a Honda premier dealer. They have a lot on the East Coast and West Coast. And I think we've got one in Minnesota and Louisiana, but we're the only one right here in the central part that is a Honda premier dealer. So, it's amazing to be a Honda Premier dealer, and so we thank all of our customers for buying Honda. That is awesome. We are a Honda certified uh, service center. Um, we have all the parts and um, all the certification to work on Hondas. Um, I think around the lake, we're about the only Honda dealer. There are some in Tulsa, and there are some in Oklahoma City. But around the lake, if you've got a Honda, you can bring it here. My guys know what to do. So, so and that's what I'm getting ready to ask as far as... Do you work? Do you all work on boats? We do. We have a full service center, um, so we are not just sales and, and we do service. We have a full service center. We also have a full parts department. So okay. if we don't have that part in stock, a lot of times Randy can get it in overnight. Okay, all right. Because I, I saw the Honda Motors here, mm -hmm. so I was assuming that if I needed a Honda Motor for my boat or whatever, I could just come in and get it and buy it. Mm -hmm. And and then. You know, I don't have to buy the whole boat to get the motor. No, mm -mm. Already got the boat. we we a lot we have a lot of people that um, buy Honda engines when their engines go bad, or they'll power up. They want more horsepower. Oh, gotcha. Okay. And speaking of power, Veranda, uh, this is the first twenty-two foot uh, tri tune we've carried that you can actually get all the way up to a two hundred and fifty engine on. Um, all, uh, primarily before that, all of our twenty-two foots it was either one seventy-five or two hundred. This is the first 22 foot that you can get a 250, and most other brands you have to do 23 foot on up. And starting this year, um, Veranda has has uh, got them recertified, and so on the 2020 models you can get the 300 horsepower on a 22 foot, and the 25 foot you'll be able to get 425 horsepower. So, so it's incredible for that person looking for the speed, or that guy that came from a ski boat to a tri tune because his wife wanted it for the kids. Yes. He can still have the power and speed that he's used to with the ski boat. So. And that, that's a big deal. Yeah, it is a big deal. So, and sometimes uh, in Oklahoma, 
you want to be able to get to the shore because you never know when a storm's going to come up. <laughs> or the wind's going to pick up to, you know, 40 miles an hour. And you want to be able to get home as soon as you can. Mm-hmm. And the great thing about a tritune is they're more stable on rough water. So uh, on a pontoon, you know, you'll get some of this and some of that. You won't get any of that with a tritune. It's very smooth and it'll cut right through those waves. And I'm, I'm just going to guess, which I'd be totally wrong because that does happen a lot. The tritune is one that has the three... Right. What, but, I, what I call aluminum floaters. Yeah, on the people, people call them logs, floaters, uh, tri-log, uh, triple tune, but yeah. Because I don't know that I've ever actually seen one of these, because I'm used to only seeing the two. The two, pontoon. On the side. So, yeah. So, so, so yeah, that, that makes sense. Mm-hmm. Well, you try to. Yeah, pontoon is two and tritune is three, but they, um, they get fancier every year. But Veranda's really good about listening to what the consumer wants. That's important. And um, what they think they should change about it. And that next fall when we go to dealer meeting, we always see those suggestions uh, on, on the team. So, yeah, they're really good about that. That's awesome. Mm-hmm. So we had talked about a lot today. I am feel more knowledgeable about boats mm-hmm. and pontoons and tritoons. Right. And, and then, like I said earlier, knowledge is always good to have, and these are absolutely gorgeous. Well, you know, it's what I tell people when they come out here. This may not be what you're looking for, but you're welcome to come out and ask questions. I'll try to educate you on, on what I know. And, you know, if you go somewhere else and buy somewhere else, then that's fine. That that's that was the boat for you. But, you know, um, we, we sure have beautiful boats, and we'd like to show you what we have. And, and I say what we have, so. And for those of you that are not familiar with boats or haven't seen boats, it's always nice just to look at something, you know? I know there's a lot of people that do go to the travel shows to, to look inside of a fifth wheel or what have you. Boats are the beautiful. It's always free to look. <laughs> and we are we are no pass, so you can come and look and call on the boats and check them all out. And, um, you know, I'll come out and answer some questions, but if you say, hey, if we just want to look, I'll let you look. And I'll just come on back in and I'll bring you out some water to drink. In a little while, I'm going to be up on one of those taking a nap because that seat looks so inviting. Oh my goodness. <laughs> They're so comfortable. And I have to say, I I can't think of one uh, veranda customer we have that did not like their veranda. They all love them. In fact, almost every single one of them say, every time I take my boat out, I get approached by people that says, what is that and where did you get it? You know, and then, what did you pay for it? And they'll tell them, they're like, oh, man, I paid too much for my boat. That makes me feel good because I know that we're selling um, at the at the least amount that we can still sell and stay open, of course. Right. Well, yeah. But, you know, we're, good. we're not missing any meals around here, girl. <laughs> <laughs> we still like to eat, and we can still afford to eat, and, and but we can still get the best deal. So. And I'm glad that you do that because mm-hmm. so many people get greedy, and I'm, I'm glad that you all are not greedy and that you try to share. Mm-hmm. You know, but you, you do have – small business is hard, and I know that. Mm-hmm. And And – a lot of people know that, but I mean, so you have to, you can't buy something for $10 and then sell it for 11 and stay in business. Yeah, exactly. My, but my dad was always about selling a lot of boats for this much money, or you can sell two for this much money. Exactly. This much money, we sell more boats, and we do very well. So. And you're honest about that, you're up front, and then that makes, that yeah. makes me feel comfortable. So, you know, we want people to feel comfortable when you come here because, you know, like I said, that's how my parents did it. They, they wanted people to come and feel like they could sit and drink coffee or look at a boat and hang out. And so that's why we do the open house because it really is fun. Yes. People come and they bring their families and eat lunch and, you know, they win prizes. And, hey, we don't give away chancy stuff around here. We give I away good know. prizes. So we gave four seats to Jimmy Buffett this year. So awesome. And, and of course, that we give away a lot of other prizes along with that. So a lot of people have an opportunity to win something. But you also get an opportunity to look at what we have to offer. And what we have to offer is a beautiful boat for a nice price. So. Exactly. Well, thank you so much for meeting with thank me Thank you. Today. I'm glad you came out. And this is the first time you and I have actually met yes. me. So yes. thank you. I, I, I enjoyed it. I, I love, love to make new friends. Me too. I really, <laughs> really enjoyed it. So thank, thank you. I, I felt very welcome. I appreciate that.